16 Candles might be one of John Hughes's seminal cinematic classics, but that doesn't mean every aspect of the movie has aged well. In fact, there are a lot of scenes in the movie that are more likely to make you cringe than laugh. Sure, it was a product of the era, but some of the movie's moments of cultural insensitivity are just plain hard to overlook upon a modern review. Here are some moments from 16 Candles that will land a whole lot differently with modern movie audiences. Body Shaming Bonanza One running theme of Sam's ill-fated 16th birthday is how often people make comments about her body. First, there's her brother, who pokes fun at her modest bra size. Yeah, well, she's only eating carrots to increase the size of her breasts. Then her own grandparents get a little carried away with the comments on her bosoms, or lack thereof. She's gotten her boobies. Oh, <laughs> I'd better go get my magnifying glass. <laughs> And they are so perky. Grandma even cops a feel without permission. Can't believe my grandmother actually felt me up. Considering her whole family is more likely to make fun of her figure than wish her a happy birthday, it's no wonder Sam's so self-conscious. Of course, she's not so innocent herself. Sam and her best friend Randy stare down Caroline in the locker room and take their own shots at her for having such a developed figure. Unbelievable. I swear to God, Caroline Mulford had to flunk about nine grades. Social slurs Plenty of 80s movies deployed racist stereotypes, but 16 Candles might have most of them beat. Are we still having dinner with the rice checks? Rice checks. The most blatant example of racism in the film is the depiction of foreign exchange student Long Duck Dong, who's basically a walking stereotype of Asian culture and whose name mention is usually accompanied by the sounding of a gong. It's pretty hard to make a person a full-on punchline, but here they have, and it's cultural awareness that takes a hit in the process. The donga need food! Meanwhile, the movie is also pretty offensive to members of the LGBTQ community, since even the good guy characters aren't hesitant to sling gay slurs at one another throughout the movie. Just answer me one question. Yes, you're a total f Mr. Misogyny If there's one theme that seems to run strong throughout the film from start to finish, it's that the male characters in the movie are absolute cartoons of toxic masculinity. For example, Sam's younger brother kicks things off on a sour note by making fun of his sister's wedding day dilemma. She's got her period. She makes for an interesting honeymoon, huh? Where are you learning that stuff? School. Good. Of course, Mike isn't the only one who has terrible things to say about members of the opposite gender. Jay calls Sam a child because she's not an outright sex object. And then there's this. Kids are looking at me a lot. It's kind of cool the way she's always looking at me. Maybe she's retarded. Outright harassment. The film's resident nerd Ted constantly harasses Sam throughout the movie. Come on, what's the problem here? I'm a boy. You're a girl. Is there anything wrong with me trying to put together some kind of relationship between us? On the bus, in a car, wherever he can try to put the moves on her, he does, even if she makes it clear she's not interested. And what's even worse than that is the way Jake Ryan, the supposed dreamboat of the whole movie, treats the idea of assault against his girlfriend Caroline with such a blithe attitude. I get a piece of anytime I want. I got Caroline in the bedroom right now, passed out cold. I could violate her ten different ways if I wanted to. Not only does he give her the cold shoulder just because another girl has shown interest in him, but he even encourages the desperate freshman Ted to take her home because he's trying to step out on her with Sam and predicts she'll be too drunk to tell them apart anyway. Jake, I'm only a freshman. So? She's so blitz she won't know the difference. So, yeah, he's basically setting his own girlfriend up to be molested in his dad's car, and we're supposed to think he's some great guy worth all of this trouble. Gross. Thanks for watching. Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.